you have a block of paper and, and in that she she makes these tiny little incisions and cuts and and everything kind of becomes folded out so you have this almost kind of unfurling flower petal her work is spiritual when you look at a sculpture you can lose yourself in the work you forget everything you don't think about nothing you're taken by by the pattern by the color and it brings out a, a, a good feeling in people. They're talking about Jen Stark. She's the artist behind these paper sculptures. Now Jen grew up in Miami and moved back after college. While she was in college, there was a brief collision of chance and opportunity that shaped the direction of her work. Not surprisingly, it happened in France. I was able to take two suitcases with me, so I brought all my clothes and everything I needed except art supplies and I was just thinking that I'll buy it over there. So when I got there, the euro was really expensive. So when I went into the art store, I just decided to buy the cheapest but coolest um, supply that had a lot of potential and that was a stack of assorted colored paper, the kind you'd find in like an elementary school store. And I, I took that to my studio and started experimenting. And so what I guess what ended up happening, she made the most beautiful thing that I've ever seen out of a stack of construction paper, basically. And she's continued to do that. Um, and so I guess like that for me is the driving principle behind her work, like just this idea of be being able to do it yourself, like with a, with a really accessible medium. I would say that she's sort of, um, she's feeling the G's at the moment. She's being rocketed like up. Um, within Miami, she's extremely well known. She has exhibitions nationally and I'm sure internationally. The one of the reasons she got there was probably because of her blog that she started. Someone posted my website on a blog and then I guess a few people saw that and they posted it on other blogs and it just kind of snowballed. Jen's work took off immediately and she began selling her art through her website to collectors the world over. It's ironic to think that while her reputation was building elsewhere, Miami had failed to take notice. Fortunately, that didn't last very long, and Jen's star continued to rise. Inside Scattered on the Floor was a piece called How to Become a Millionaire in 100 Days. The artist, a 24-year-old named Jen Stark, spent 100 days tearing a million scraps of colored paper a not-so-subtle statement about the hyper-commercialized art market. I decided to cut a million pieces of paper, which meant I had to cut 10,000 pieces every day for 100 days. And it's beautiful. I mean, it's a, it's a pile of beautiful scraps of paper. It looks like confetti, but it's handmade confetti. And that piece was in a 2020 project show during Basel, and everybody, everybody seemed to like it. Art Basel's influence on Miami's art scene is difficult to measure. It's enormous, no doubt. But after Basel moves on, it's the local artists, like Jen, who keep Miami's art scene alive. Galleries throughout the city hold shows year-round, and it's these shows, the ones in our own backyard, that offer the most excitement. Some people came because they knew about Jane's work, so they were following the work. But some people just, just came because they come to every, you know, they came on the monthly basic and they, they saw the work and, oh my God, what is that? They are jewels, they are beautiful, They're, it's happy.
I think that at this point in Jenny's career, she's a young, uh, you know, emerging artist, and she's on the cusp of doing something really, uh, really great. I think it's only natural to assume that she is going to make it as uh, an internationally recognized artist. For more information about artist Jen Stark, log on to jenstark.com. The preceding program was a production of WLRN Public Television.